Hi, this is Frankie and welcome to another Behind the Drapes. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about airway management and what we as anesthesia providers use in order to secure your airway. One of the most important things is for us to secure your airway, for us to be able to deliver oxygen and ventilate your lungs and deliver anesthesia gases throughout the whole procedure. So the first thing that we might use for that purpose is an endotracheal tube. So after you're asleep, we might insert this endotracheal tube in your mouth and it sits in your trachea. We inflate this balloon on the tip and that secures your airway and prevents anything else from getting into your lungs other than the oxygen that's coming through the tube into the tip, okay? So, but if we have any trouble getting that tube into your mouth, we also have something called a laryngeal mask airway. Now a laryngeal mask airway can also be used on its own instead of the endotracheal tube. And I do use that with a lot of my breast cases. They're usually shorter procedures and because it's less invasive and it doesn't sit actually inside your trachea, it just sits over your voice box and delivers oxygen continuously by use of the ventilator or I can actually bag or you actually can breathe on your own with one of these placed in your mouth. Some people have actually a very diff what we call a difficult airway and meaning I, I'm not able to place this tube because I can't get visualization of your trachea by using a laryngoscope. Okay so this laryngoscope is what I use in order to open your mouth sweep your tongue and actually be able to see your trachea and insert that tube in, okay? So for some reason, some people have an anatomy that makes it very difficult for us to be able to see that. I also carry here at the clinic a uh, video laryngoscope. And what a video laryngoscope is, it's a little device just like a laryngoscope, but it actually has a monitor. And on that monitor, I'm able to see it has a camera right at the tip and it helps me be able to see around corners and I'm also able to see your trachea most of the time with the video laryngoscope if I'm not able to use the normal laryngoscope to see it. So this is one of the tools that we use in case of an emergency and I'm not able to secure your airway with a regular laryngoscope. So there are many other tools that anesthesiologists and nurse anesthetists use in order to secure your airway as being one of the most primary and most important things that we have to do as soon as we put you to sleep. I hope you appreciated this video and I'll see you next time.